How's everyone enjoying CppCon? All right, my name is Connor Hookstra, and uh, welcome to my CppCon 2019 lightning talk entitled C++ 23 Ranges Slide and Stride. So we are going to uh, start by looking at three algorithms that are going to be coming in the C++ 23, hopefully, uh, ranges library. Those are sliding, chunk, and stride. So uh, the function declaration of each of these looks very similar. They take two parameters, an integer k and a range. So sliding might look like this, chunk might look like this, and stride might look like this. If you are a functional programming enthusiast like myself and you love Haskell, the type signature of the equivalent function in Haskell would be the following. So an integer, a list of a, a is a generic type, and then returning a list of lists of a's. So for our C++ functions, those are gonna be returning a range of ranges. Um, if we take a look at what these algorithms do, sliding with k equal to four and our list of integers zero to nine, it starts by looking at the first four integers and then it takes a step, looks at the next four, takes another step, and it continues to do this until we end up with our final range of ranges that's gonna look like this. The different ranges are separated by colors. Chunk with k equal to four is a very similar algorithm, but instead of stepping by one, it steps by the size of the chunk. So we look at zero to three, then four to seven, and then we have a partial chunk at the end, eight and nine. So this is gonna give us the following range of ranges. Finally, stride with k equal to four looks at one element at a time and it strides by four. So we first look at zero, then we skip to four, then we skip to eight. This is gonna give us a range of ranges, zero, four, and eight. Note that we might just want this to be a single range so we could use a Haskell concat or a Pythonic join or a range v3 join. So Kotlin, a little shout out to uh, Phil and JetBrains here, has an algorithm called windowed. The function declaration of windowed is as follows. We can ignore the third parameter, but most importantly, we have two integers, size and step, where step is defaulted to one. This is what it might look like in C++, two integers, n, k, and a range. And once again in Haskell, we just have an extra int in our type signature. So why is this important? Each of the three algorithms we just looked at can be implemented in terms of the Kotlin windowed. When step is equal to size, we get chunk. When step is equal to one, we get sliding. And when size is equal to one, we get stride. In Scala, this is called sliding. Note that the default here is not equal to one. We have an overloaded uh, version of sliding where it just takes a single integer and the step is hard-coded to one. In delaying, or D, this algorithm is called slide. Note that the parameters here are called window size and step size. So Kotlin calls this windowed, Scala calls this sliding, D calls this slide, Haskell calls this divvy, I don't know why, and very unfortunately, Clojure calls this partition. So if we take a look at five more languages and we look at each of these four algorithms, the Kotlin windowed and the chunk uh, sliding and stride from the uh, range v3 library, we end up with the following diagram. So first we're gonna look at the most consistently named algorithm, that's chunk. So that's where the step is equal to size. So you can see here, see here a number of the different languages call this slight, something slightly different. Haskell is chunks of, Elixir is chunk every, uh, D and Rust are chunks, F sharp is chunk by size and Kotlin is chunked, but I like the algorithm name chunk here. I might prefer an S at the end to be consistent with D and Rust, seeing as those are our sibling languages, but chunk it is. The next most consistently named algorithm is stride. That's where size is equal to one. Uh, you can see here we're being uh, consistent with D. Uh, two other names for this algorithm are take nth from closure and uh, take every from elixir. But for the next two, we have some ambiguity. Uh, for when step is equal to one and we just are stepping by one or when we have a, a specification of step and size, we have two choices, either sliding or windows. So if we're uh, consistent with Scala and D uh, and range v3, we get sliding or slide, but if we're gonna be consistent with Kotlin or F sharp or Rust, we're gonna call it window or windows. Um, note here that Rust and F sharp don't have the two integer parameter version, they just have the sliding where a hard-coded step is equal to one. So the question is, should we be consistent with D or should we be consistent with Kotlin? I'm not sure if Andre's here, I invited him. Uh, I vote for D. You can see how happy Andre is because of this. Um, there's a number of motivations for this though. One, I think the semantic meaning of slide is closer to what this algorithm is doing. We were sliding across the screen. Uh, the second reason is that it has the same tense as stride. Uh, I think it's a bit weird when windowed is in past tense and stride isn't, so slide and stride is a little bit more consistent. And so I prefer the slide over sliding. Um, also, Windows is an operating system, and that makes it a little bit hard to search for if you're on Google. Um, but most importantly, whether we call this slide or windowed, what I want is a version of this algorithm so that we can implement chunks and the hard-coded uh, where the step is equal to one and stride in terms of this algorithm. Uh, so that gives us the following, and if you like this kind of stuff, hit me up on Twitter. Thank you.